Good morning, Calvary Chapel, Murfreesboro. Our memory verse for this month is John chapter 15, verse 8. Let's say it together. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. Here's what I want you to think about this week. The cost of fruit. No, I don't mean in the grocery store, although that is going up. What I mean is for the plant who produces it. All of this precious energy poured into this object, designed to be given away. And within this object are precious seeds containing new life, also meant to be given away. The plant that produces this fruit enjoys neither the fruit nor the seed, but it already has life and it is capable of producing fruit. Scripture also warns for the plants that are capable but do not, like the fig tree that Jesus cursed, or the one in the parable that the landowner threatened to dig up. Jesus warned us that we must be producing fruit. We have the capability, therefore we have the responsibility. It takes energy. It costs a lot. It brings new life. What are we waiting for? We have to put the work in. We have to pour ourselves out like drink offerings, like fruit offerings, and to give it away without payment, without expectation of return. For this is what our Lord did for us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for giving us the fruit of new life. Lord, I pray that you enrich us, fill us, nourish us so that we can produce a bounty a hundredfold as i prayed for last week lord i pray again this week that it would be obvious to the world around us that we have something they need something delicious something sweet something life-giving lord god may this congregation bring forth fruit may this message that they are about to hear bring forth fruit in them and may your will be done in all of this in your name jesus amen god bless everyone see you next week